Avalanche Solar. She's just another alternative, but she's the only one that can dispel. The others cannot dispel, like Lancelot can't dispel, and Lily cannot dispel. And now we have Vampy, and they made, it's a plushie, what the fuck? Plushie pal? Oh, another progression weapon. Massive water damage to a foe, charm effect, drain effect to main character, so the Ogi's kind of lackluster. Then we have Tsunami Progression, which is medium boost to a water ally's water attack based on number of turns passed, which is okay. Um, tsunami's only medium, which is not that great. And then we have Water Grace, which is a health boost. It's the pretty much the skill that Grim Spear has. The only difference is that this is only skill level 10, so it's kind of irrelevant. <laughs> if it was like a skill level 15 weapon, it'd be much better though. The fact that these weapons come skill level 10 pretty much makes a lot of them like um, hard to use. But I don't think it's a bad weapon if you needed health. But then again, you got Fimble. Yeah, it might be decent upon getting uncapped. So we have Vampy now. See, it's fucking cute. My God, holy shit. Okay, calm down. Other, no surprise there, water, special, staff, melee. Staff and melee. So we have another water staff unit, which is pretty big. Um, let's see how she works with the water staff units. Unworldly water damage to a foe. Okay. So everybody gets unworldly. This is the new power cube, guys. You get unworldly. You get unworldly. So they just released two units with unworldly water damage. Huh. This is the world we live in now. Unworldly, I believe, the eight times multiplier on our Ogi, I believe. I think it goes like, normally it's five, then it's like the new units are 5.5. .5. I think six, five star to six, and then unworldly is eight. I could be wrong, but I think it's like, no, Rope Me's not the first unworldly Ogi. The first unworldly Ogi was somebody else, I think. But the first normal unit was Robomi. There was another unit with Unworldly Ogi, I believe. <laughs> Lyris Ogi's not Unworldly. Um, what's this? Oh, her Ogi damage? I, I, I've seen this clip. It's not that amazing, though. I, I think he had like a 6.8. 6.8 on her Oki. But the problem with it's like, oh, 5.6, right? That's like Uno damage though. Not Uno, that's like uh, Yoda damage, right? Yoda does like 4 million plus 1 million plane. So, it, I, I don't know if she had EMPs on her though. Cause from the looks of it, right? She doesn't have, um, she doesn't have her skills unlocked. So she probably doesn't have any EMPs on her. So what would probably make her a little bit stronger is she has like CA cap up or EMPs. I don't know her EMPs. Do anybody have her EMPs actually? Oh yeah, that's a big thing. So she can work with Magna better than Yoda, right? Because she can get the boost from the Europa staffs. Yoda cannot. So that's a big thing. She probably worked a lot better on Magna. Not to mention she'll cap easier on Magna than um, Yoda. Definitely the better Magna character by far. Anyways, back to her Ogi. Unworldly water damage to a foe. Restores Venia's and her dragon HP. Consumes two dragon fruit. Oh! So the way they balance her Ogi by making her need dragon fruit. And you gotta give her dragon fruit by like buffing her, I guess. So yeah, she needs dragon fruit to Ogi. Water damage to a foe. Removes one buff, one dragon fruit to caster. Upon removing one buff, one more dragon fruit to caster. So she has a dispel, which is pretty okay. Water dispelled. I mean, there's not 
a ton of them on staffs, but they do have a few, like Kaliostro Drank. So she has a dispel, and she gets up to two if done correctly. Not to mention she gets this boost is from what? What the hell? Did... Oh, this boost is from her dragon fruit? What the hell? Attack, damage cap, and multi-attack rate boosted. Her skill two dodges all attacks from foes two times. I'm having a really bad idea of this skill too. It reminds me of House Senna. And I'm never a fan of those type of skills in the game. House Senna, Song. This, this is like a, a dead skill to me. Boost to all allies, water attack, drain effect, shield effect. Boost to specs based on number of dragon fruit. Water attack up. See if you drain. Right. And you get a shield. How big is your shield? If it's like 3 to 4k, it's pretty good. Oh, she loses dragon fruit if she takes damage. Twenty five hundred. That's okay. It's not. It's not great or anything. Her shield. So she gets a boost to attacks, damage cap, multi attack rate, and hit to defend based on the number of dragon fruits. And she gains one dragon fruit each turn. Not to mention that she'll gain these two here, and two dragon fruit at the start of battle. And she caps at five. Okay. So she'll pretty much have two after she Ogies turn one, if you use her skills. And the big thing is that upon taking damage, she loses two dragon fruit, which is pretty big. She does have shield. I'm guessing her EMP is like host hostility down, CA damage, water attack up, two water attack up nodes, hostility down, CA damage cap up, and maybe an, another hostility down can somebody link me her EMPs oh thank you TM did it so okay I was wrong she does not have CA damage cap up what the fuck is this really her EMPs this is these are shit where's her e what where's her EMP where's her CA damage cap up she don't have that? That's shit. She don't even have two water attack nodes. She got stamina. She got healing up. These EMPs are these are pretty bad. Um Now she'll cap easier, right? This is probably okay for OTKs, right? Because you'll still give her CA damage. But in longer content, it's not that great. Rank her? I hell no. Her EMP is garbage. I will not ring this unit. Well, I'm talking about like importance. I'm not ringing her ever. Nope. Nani? No, no. Well, you have you you have to go like if you're ringing her like my if you're EMP her you have to go water attack, CA damage, CA damage, hostility down, stamina, um, one point attack overdrive, and then healing. So you have no choice but going that way. I mean, you can also invest in defense because he has shield. So to go in her defense is not a bad option either. Oh, I didn't look at Lacia's. I didn't look at Lacia's. Uh, her uh, her EMPs. Let's say EMPs aren't bad either, though. I can barely see them, but we should like attack up. Let me see if we can zoom in. Can I zoom in a little bit here? Let's go. Okay, go like this. So, like, her EMPs are, uh, what? Skill damage, you're getting all this right here. All this, all this. Damn, her EMPs are pretty good. Holy shit. Oh, whoa. Oh my god, her EMPs are actually really good. What the hell? You get all this, all this, all this, and then fuck, dude. 
She has. She don't have enough EMPs, dude. She don't have enough. She don't have enough. Better image. Okay, thank you. Dude, she don't have enough. She don't have enough EMPs to pick up all her nonsense, bro. I want it all. Give me it all. <laughs> I want that. I want that. I want that. I want that. I want this. I want this. I want that. I want that. I want that. I want it all. <laughs> Her EMPs are hella good. What the fuck? <laughs> now, these two is only one point. I want to max these two out. I want to throw one point into this. I want to throw all two. What I'm looking at, right? This is three. 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 That's 12. Fuck! <laughs> Three? Fifteen. Fuck! <laughs> One? You gotta get the CA damage. Water. So you have to get it. And then you either can go 1-1 One, -one or 2. Fucking feels bad, man. Ringer? I feel you now. <laughs> Her MPs are pretty good. Damn. Feels bad, dude. But definitely these four are mandatory, bro. Those are some good EMPs. <laughs> these four are mandatory. These five, debatable. The only one I'll say mandatory is one and CA damage. The one and CA damage is really important. Her DA attack up? Uh, mm, 